Hello everyone, thank you in today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather next week, 10 days for today's third and final video. So earlier on today, well we've done two videos actually. The um sort of first main video was JMA Friday, which has a look at the weather next month with the Japanese and CFS V2 long range uh, models. That video is here on my homepage, so just scroll down the page a little bit and you'll find it above the uh, polling count. Um, and also today, uh, early on, we released our first look at the Isle of Wight Festival. You can find that video on the uh, Gazavis Festivals and Sporting Events Updates page. Um, this video is going to have a look at the weather next week to 10 days uh, and also that extends us out more or less to the beginning of um, beginning of uh, July now. So uh, go out to around sort of 25th of June in the day 10 time frame but we'll go a little bit beyond that with the GFS. So uh, we're talking about the final week of uh, June uh, up to just about the start of July uh, now with the uh, sort of week to 10 day video update. So I'll bring you up to date with all of the latest uh, very shortly um, and before the end of the video uh, I'll uh, talk you through our Patreon and uh, PayPal page pages if you'd like to give us a little donation but we'll start off by having a look at the uh, GFS temperature and precipitation upper air uh, upper air temperature ensemble so we're looking at Oxford uh, today the red line here is a 30 year upper air temperature average for Oxford at the moment, the upper air temperatures are a little bit uh, cooler than they've been for a little while, although it's still pleasantly warm in the strong June sunshine. Over the weekend and into next week, the temperatures are going to get a lift. It's going to go quite warm. And then just generally really extending out through this final week of June into start of July, looks like temperatures are staying above average, certainly from an upper air temperature perspective. So... It remains pretty warm, to be honest, right way through to the end of June, potentially to the opening of July as well. Rainfall anomalies are uh, low also, so in the next week there's barely any rain at all coming through to Oxford. A few showers here and there down in the south, and there'll be more in way of rain up in the north. But overall, a lot of dry weather coming up in the next week in the south. After that, there are some rainfall spikes, not all that many of them at all. Um, so uh, really, I think you can say in for a lot of dry weather for the south anyway, going through more or less to the end of uh, June. That is a very warm and dry uh, ensemble overall for Oxford. Service temperatures for Oxford look like that. So these undercut temperatures a bit it's suggesting we're under 20 degrees with our maximums today. I think we'll actually be around maybe a little bit above 20 degrees today. Overall, keeping temperatures very close to 20 degrees, possibly going above 20 degrees, actually, uh, through this final week of July. And there are quite a few hot outliers starting to appear now through this final week of June, I should say, uh, going up into the mid to upper 20 Celsius, perhaps, with one or two of those uh, hot outlier uh, sort of members that we have going on there. As far as rainfall is concerned, again, on this chart, so loads of dry weather for next week, and then a few more precipitation spikes coming through during the final week of June. have to emphasize, though, it, the emphasis really is on dry weather for the south right way through to the end of the month. Temperature anomalies, the weekend are looking like that. This going from the 15th through to the 23rd of June. A little bit milder than average in the south. A little bit cooler than average, interestingly, for uh, Scotland. Not a big deviation either way. So this is one of the more cooler weeks that we've had um, uh, over recent weeks. Even in the south, we're only a little bit above average. So it is one of the cooler weeks that we've had for a little while. Uh, and then as far as the precipitation anomaly is concerned, mainly dry and average, particularly for England and Wales, closer to normal for Scotland, and again from the 15th to 23rd of June. In America, it's a warm scene across much of the central and eastern parts of the states. Temperature anomalies from the 15th to 23rd of June coming out warmer than average across many central and eastern uh, states of America. In the west, we've got more of a mixture. Few states are coming out a bit cooler than average. Some states are coming out 
a bit hotter than average. East-west split for rainfall, so across the eastern and southeastern parts of America, it's a little bit drier than average, but out in the west, it's actually wet and average, away from California. Anyway, California looks dry, but many of these states, including the states that we associate with uh, with uh, dry weather, particularly this time of year, like sort of Nevada, we have got those states coming out wetter than average as well. So uh, it's wet in the west and it's drier over in the east, although these Pacific west and coastal states like California, uh, those uh, states are coming out drier than average. Right, back to home, and this is how the GFS is looking for Monday, with high pressure ridging up from the Azores into the south of the country, low pressure to the north of Scotland. So a classic north-south split will be showery and cooler in the north, but warm and mainly dry in the south. That situation continues through to the middle part of next week. Now, there's a weather front that's getting a bit stuck uh, through the middle part of next week across these northern and western parts of the country. It's in that sort of zone. So there could be quite a bit of wet weather, maybe, for the northwest of Scotland, maybe Northern Ireland, possibly southwest Scotland, uh, too, around Tuesday and Wednesday next week. To the south of that, we're under this ridge of high pressure from the Azores, will remain dry and potentially becoming very warm down in the south with temperatures possibly going up to around 26 or 27 degrees by the middle of next week. That's close to 80 Fahrenheit. The uh, second half of next week sees a high pressure sort of building across the country. It'll be in a slightly cooler air mass within that high pressure. So um, temperatures may lower a little bit down in the south. But generally, again, the emphasis for England and Wales is on dry and warm weather. And in the north, it should turn drier as well for the second half of next week into next weekend so a lot of influence from high pressure across England and Wales bringing a lot of dry weather there turning a bit more unsettled by Sunday 24th of June to the north of Scotland this area of low pressure and then as we go through into extended range it does turn briefly more unsettled with the wind going into the northwest bringing down cooler air from uh, the northern Atlantic and also some showery weather in the north as well but that doesn't last very long we're back to the azores high ridging in as we go through towards the final stage of the month we're beyond day 10 now but the azores high is ridging back in across the country bringing again a return to dry and warm weather closing days of june possibly pull up some hot air from the south that's as this ridge is beginning to uh, push eastwards and we've got low pressure out to the west that's drawing up hot winds from the south but uh, looks very unstable potentially very thundery uh with those hot southerly winds and then very quickly flattened off as the wind goes back into the west by the end of this GFS run, 384 hours away, Sunday 1st of July. Winds have gone back into the west. It's cooler, it's fresher, and it's more showery uh, once again. East WF looking like that. So again, the high pressure bridging up from the Azores on Monday, bringing loads of dry and very warm weather potentially to the south. Always more unsettled up in the north. Again, there's that front that's a little bit stuck and uh, strung out across the north. It's in that sort of zone. So potentially we could see some quite wet weather for western and southwestern parts of Scotland, maybe Northern Ireland, possibly into the far northwestern part of England as well. That's Wednesday, still keeping the dry and warm weather going from the Azores high in the south, still a little bit more unsettled up in the north. And then the second half of next week sees this ridge building pretty much across the whole country, bringing dry weather even to northern parts of the country, although temperatures may well lower a little bit in the second half of next week down in the south. Running up to day 10, we look like that. So uh, we start to bring some cooler air down from the north and the northwest by day 10, which is Monday, 25th of June. It looks like it's just turning a little bit more showery and potentially a little bit cooler. I'm not sure the ECMDF is behaving all that well in its extended range at the moment, though. I'm not sure it's all that reliable. So I tend to go more with the uh, GFS idea, which is that, yes, it may turn a little bit cooler, a little bit more unsettled again, even in the south by day 10, Monday 25th June. But very quickly beyond that, we probably go back to high pressure and maybe pull up some quite hot air from the south briefly at some point through the final week of June. The emphasis for England and Wales in the next week to 10 days and really going up to the end of the month is on dry and warm weather. In the north, it will always be a little bit more unsettled and cooler.
Finally, I'll just talk you through our uh, Patreon page. So uh, this is it. If you'd like to become a patron for Gaz Love Things, all you have to do is come to our Patreon page uh, and click that button there that says become a patron. You uh, pledge a little bit of money to be paid every month and you'll become a patron for Gaz Love. It's got 17 patrons uh, so far. So big thank you to our 17 uh, patrons for uh, Gabs, whether it's the, uh, this, the link is in the description box at YouTube, and also linking to this page via all the pages at Gabs of his website. And then there's also the PayPal page, which is this. So if you would like to just make a one off donation, all you have to do is again, I'll leave a link to this page in the description box at YouTube and link it to the all page at Gabs of his. Just go to this page. And essentially, you uh, just pledge whatever money or donate whatever money you would like uh, to donate. And uh, all uh, all pledges, all patrons and all donations are very, very welcome. It's helping to pay for the website. So um, thanks so much to everybody for doing that. It's been a huge success, more success than I thought it was going to be when I started doing all of this a couple of weeks ago. So a big, big thank you to our patrons and our donors for Gav's weather beats. Right, so that's it. Been a busy day at website with a video. So you found them interesting and important. Tomorrow we've got weekend forecast. I was hoping to bring you the CFS six months look ahead just for fun. Uh, tomorrow evening, but unfortunately, uh, so far, I haven't checked in the last hour, but up to around an hour ago, the um, main CFS website hadn't updated for uh, the next month, so it's still showing charts that uh, were last updated on Monday, and only covering the time frame uh, from June to November. When it updates, it will cover the time frame from July to December, and that's what I want to bring you. So, if it updates in the next few hours, I'll bring you a CFS 6 not clock head tomorrow after we get forecast but um, it just depends if it does. If it doesn't update, then that uh, CFS 6 at Lockhead will be pushed back to uh, next week sometime. Uh, also coming up over the weekend, we've got um, our first batch of autumn analogs. So that could be quite interesting. Uh, we'll also have uh, what else we've got coming up on Sunday. So we'll also have the Casabi Study Roundup. And as well, on Sunday, we'll have a look at the ECMDF and Metro France seasonal models. That, that, uh, uh, those models out update taking us uh, well into the autumn period as well so uh, a little bit of concern about the autumn at the website uh, on Sunday so uh, keep checking back for all of the updates but uh, that's all for now and thanks for watching